The next piece that we're going to play was composed by Ludwig van, who knows the last name? I'm sure many of you do, right? Beethoven. This was a very, very special piece of music written by an amazing composer. Mr. Beethoven wrote symphonies, concertos, huge amounts of piano music, chamber music, string quartets, and so on, all over the map. However, midway through his life, he couldn't what? He couldn't hear. He lost his hearing. Midway through his life to the end, he never heard his music performed by orchestras, by pianists and such. He heard it all in his head. It's really quite extraordinary. So, Mr. Beethoven loved to walk in the woods. He, when he could hear, he would hear the birds, the foxes, all the different animals. And he decided to write a whole symphony about nature. And one movement is about a rainstorm, a thunderstorm. So we're going to have the orchestra first play a couple little examples so you get an idea of what we're talking about. The first, just our cellos, and just listen. That one was very quiet, kind of a low rumble, right? So you could almost say, that's thunder way in the background. It's coming. Now listen to this next excerpt. Starts with the cellos and then has the whole orchestra. And tell me what you think. Okay, so what you heard was something starting relatively softly and then getting a huge, huge crescendo, getting loud really quickly and big claps, big crashes throughout the whole orchestra. So what do you think? You think the first part, the rolling part and getting louder. Thunder, a big thunderstorm right on top of us. And then those huge claps, two choices. It could be those big clashes with thunder, right? We've had that. Or it could be lightning, couldn't it? Use your judgment. So we're going to play the whole piece, and you'll hear these ups and downs and ups and downs, typical thunderstorm, right? And at the very end, it gets very quiet, and we have a clarinet solo, and that's, we know at that point, that the thunderstorm is over.
Thank you.